We have always sought pleasure. Physically, psychologically. And if not finding there, we invent something extraterritorial. Mm-hmm. Little green men. <laughs> Sorry to laugh. <laughs> Why should I believe or not believe? I don't know. Maybe like those people who believe <coughs> intensely in flying saucers. Do you, do you believe? They come to me and say, do you believe in it? I say, I don't know. But that's, to me that's, we are moving away from most relevant facts, which is my, the world I live in, the actions I do, the way I think, feel, all that I am concerned with. There is no outside agency, no gods, nobody is going to come from Mars or Venus in flying saucers to save us. I believe scientists are also inquiring into this question of collapse of space. which is the collapse of time. Because the rockets to go to Mars will take so many months and so or years. Is there a way of getting to Mars much quicker? You know, there's tremendous things involved in it. So the universe there's the stars, the heavens, the black hole, the end millions and millions of stars and planets and systems have no cause. Scientists are beginning to discover this. I hope they are. There is no cause for it. Therefore, it is eternal, endless. It is vast space without any reason, without any cause, without a, a, an agent which is making this. Therefore, it is everlasting from to everlasting. It has no time. What has cause has time. 